advanced custom fields can be used to build out all kinds of different functionality for your website. Pretty much anything that you can think of, you can build it using this plugin. Check out this car configurator, for example. I built this thing out using no plugins aside from advanced custom fields. In this video, I'll be teaching you the basics of how this plugin works. We'll start by installing it, then we'll configure a custom field group, add a text field to it, add some content, and display it on a post. Let's start off by heading over to the plugins area, click add new, then search for the advanced custom fields plugin. Then install and activate the plugin. Now that the plugin's installed, you should see a new menu item called custom fields. Let's go ahead and click on that and that'll bring us to our main advanced custom fields dashboard. From this screen, you can add, edit, and delete custom field groups. All custom ACF fields must be set up inside of one of these groups. Let's go ahead and add one now by clicking the add a new button. From this screen, you'll configure the field group and also all the fields within that group. The first thing we need to do is give our new field group a name. This name will appear as a title above this field group everywhere that it appears in the back end of your website. I'm just gonna call this my field group. Now we can move down to the next section. This is where we actually add fields to our group. And you might notice there's already a field here. Whenever you make a new field group, it automatically creates one field for you, just to kind of get you started. Let's delete this field so that we can create a new one and start the process from scratch. From here, just click the add field button, and now we'll see pretty much the same thing that we just deleted. I just wanted you to see the process of adding a new field. Since we're just going over the basics here, we're only gonna look at the field type, the field label, and the field name. We don't really need to check out these other tabs or the default value, any of that kind of stuff. It's not really necessary for just making a basic field. Now let's click on the field type dropdown. And you can see there's all kinds of different fields you can add here. I mean, there's a lot. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna stick to the basic text field. So make sure you select that. We'll go over how to use some of the other field types in a future, more advanced video. So if you don't wanna miss that, consider subscribing to the channel. That way you'll get alerted when the next video comes out. And make sure you give this video a like if you wanna see more ACF content. Next, we need to give our field a label. This label will appear above our field anywhere that it shows up in the back end of the website. You can name this pretty much whatever you want, but it's a good idea to give it a descriptive name. That way you know what the field is for when you see it. Let's just call this one, my field. Now we can tab down to the field name and you'll see that it gets auto-populated based on the field label. It's usually just fine to leave it as is, but you can change this if you want. Just keep in mind that if you edit this, you can't use any spaces. It needs to just be a single word with hyphens and underscores if you want to add those. I'm just going to leave this as my underscore field. This field name will be super important later. It's sort of used like a key that we'll need to pass to our ACF functions and short codes when we want to actually display the field somewhere. So keep that in mind. And now our field's pretty much all set up. So let's scroll all the way to the bottom and finish setting up our group. Again, we can ignore these other two tabs, but we do need to focus on these location rules. This is what tells WordPress where we want our field group to show up in the back end. And you'll see that we have three dropdowns here. Our third dropdown will change based on what we select in the first one. So you can see out of the box, the first dropdown set the post type, and our third dropdown is gonna show post and page because there are the available post types. There is a bunch of different options that you can choose from, but we're just gonna leave this on post type for now. And we're also gonna leave the last option on post. That's gonna make this field group show up on every single post on our website. The middle option here is a conditional. We can either set this to equal to or not equal to. We're gonna leave it as equal to for now. If we were to set it to not equal to, that would mean that our field group would show up everywhere that's not a post. So it would show up on pages in this case. And now our field group's completely set up. So let's go ahead and save it. And now we can head over to the posts area and click on a post to edit it. From here, just scroll down until you find your field group. And now we need to add some content to it. I'm just gonna type in my custom field content. And let's go ahead and update our page and give it a look on the front end. And we can see that our custom field doesn't show up anywhere here. That's because we never told WordPress to display it. It has the data saved, but that's it. We never said, hey, display it here, display it there. It doesn't know what to do with it. So let's fix that. There's two basic ways that we can display this field. 
We can either add the ACF shortcode to the editor, or we can add some functions to the theme. To show our field using the shortcode, we just type out ACF inside of brackets, then pass it the field parameter. And inside the field parameter, we add our field name in double quotes, like this. Now we can save our page, and view it on the front end again. And we can see my custom field content is now outputting right where I put the shortcode. If we go back and edit our page, delete the shortcode, update it, and refresh our page again, we can see it's gone. So that's all working. And that's the easiest way to display this on the front end. Super basic, and you don't need to edit any code to do it. Now let me show you how to do it by adding some code to your template files. I'm gonna jump over to my code editor, and I've opened up the single.php template. This template runs all of the single post pages. And this is a super basic custom theme that I set up that has pretty much nothing in it except the title of the post and the content. I did this just to make it easy to add our custom functions to it and not have all kinds of extra code in here that might get confusing. So if we wanna show our field right underneath the content area, we'll just add a few extra lines here and we'll type out the function, the field. This is a function that comes with ACF and it's made for doing just that, showing our field. And the only thing we need to pass it is the name of our field, the same way we did when we used the short code. So our field name is my underscore field we add this code, save it, and come back to our page and give it a refresh, we can now see my custom field content showing up again. If I go back and delete it from our template, give our page a refresh, it goes away. So you can see that is what's controlling this here. The nice thing about adding it to the template code is that now it would display on every post on the site, not just this one specific post. And that's pretty much it for the ACF basics. And now that you know the basics, in the next video in this series, I'm going to show you how to use a few more of the basic ACF fields and also a few more of the functions that come with ACF.